The Conservative frontbencher told BBC Radio 4 Today programme the EU needs to be flexible, as he urged the Eurocrats in Brussels to give in to Britain's very clear demands. Mr Hunt argued the UK will want to remain best friends with the EU after leaving the bloc warning future generations will judge both sides if Brexit goes wrong, he said, this is a moment of change in our relationship between the UK and the EU and history will judge both sides very badly if we get this wrong, we want to remain the best of friends with the EU. That means getting this agreement through in a way that doesn't inject poison into our relations for many years to come, that's what the UK has said we want to do, it's what most people in the UK want and feel very strongly about, but it does need the EU also to be flexible in these negotiations and understand that we now have a very, very clear ask. Brexit news, Jeremy Hunt warns future generations will say the EU was wrong, image Twitter Getty, that's not an unreasonable thing to ask and we have made, I think, some progress in the last few days, Jeremy Hunt, we know what to take to get a deal through the House of Commons, and that is for a significant change to allow the Attorney General to change his advice to the government and say we can be trapped in a customs union forever, that's not an unreasonable thing to ask and we have made, I think, some progress in the last few days, there's a bit more to make, it's entirely possible to get there, and frankly I think future generations if this ends in acrimony will say that the EU got this moment wrong, and I really hope they don't. Parliament is due to vote on Theresa May's Brexit deal for a second time on Tuesday. The government has been seeking additional concessions from Brussels in a bid to get the agreement passed. If the government loses Tuesday's vote it will be followed by subsequent ballots on whether the UK should leave the EU without a deal, or seek to extend the Article 50 exit mechanism. As a majority of parliamentarians oppose a no-deal exit. The first vote looks set to fail, meaning MPs are likely to instruct the government to request an Article 50 extension. Europhile Conservative MPs could vote with the Labour opposition in a bid to water down Brexit, potentially by keeping Britain in a permanent customs union with the EU.